Hello everyone, welcome back to Chini Apparel Free Online Tutorial. So today we'll be drafting a basic top. Okay, but firstly I'll introduce you to the tools I'll be working with for the basic top. The first thing first is your measurement tape, your ruler, armhole curve, my marker, my hip curve, my pencil, and the measurements I'll be working with. Okay? Okay, here is my paper too. So the first thing we'll be doing when drafting a basic top is to fold our paper or our fabric into two. Now, when folding your fabric or your paper into two, the first thing you want to consider is the highest body measurement. You fold your paper with your highest body measurement. And my highest body measurement I have here is my hip measurement. Now, before I proceed, I want to, to understand something. Here I have here is the length of the blouse. I'll be working with a length 24. My half length is 16 inches. My waist measurement is 28. My bust point here is 10 inches. My bust span, also known as nipple to nipple, is 8 inches. My shoulder is 16 inches. And my hip measurement here is 40 inches. My bust measurement here is 36 inches. Now, note that your hip measurement, your bust measurement, and your waist measurement will be divided by 4. Why? Your bust pan, also known as your nipple to nipple measurement, your bust point measurement, and your shoulder measurement will be divided by two. Let me take it again. Your waist measurement, your bust measurement, your hip measurement will be divided by four, while your waist measurement, okay, sorry, while your bust point measurement, your bust pan measurement, and your shoulder measurement will be divided by 2. So now my hip measurement, which is 40, 40 divided by 4 will give me 10. So I'll place my tape to make sure that I get 10 here. Okay, can you see that 10? And then I include 2 inches allowance, which gives me 12. Here, this is it. Can you see it? So we are good to go. Make sure you always have your measurements close back. Okay? Let it be in front of you while you're walking. Now, before I proceed, I talked about your basic block in my video, in my um, taking a quick body measurement. Now, we have two types of basic block, which is your half block and your full block. Now, your half block is from your shoulder to your half length, and your full block is from your shoulder to your full length of your blouse. So, for this tutorial, I will be working with your full length of your blouse, which is your full block. Your full block. But as we proceed, I will just show you where your half block stops. So take our tape through. The first thing we want to note is the full length of the blouse or your top. Now the measurement I'm working here is a full length of 24 inches. So I have it here, 24 here. By right, I'm supposed to mark 26. That is including 2 inches allowance for folding. But my paper stopped at 24. So when I'm transferring it to a fabric, I will include my 2 inches allowance. So, okay. So let's get started. So now there's something I always do whenever I start drafting. The first thing I like to do is to always have a starting line. You'll be wondering why I'm always having that starting line. That's because so that my measurements can be drafted out accurately. So now, getting your uh, starting line, if you are drafting on your fabric, it could be the part where you have 
the fabric lay there written on. Just put a straight line on it there, and then you start drafting. So the first thing we are going to do right now is to get our boss point measurement. Now my boss point measurement here is 10 inches. So I'm going to place my tape measure my tape on 10 and take my marker and mark on 10. Can you see that? On 10. And then the next thing I'm going to be looking at here is my half length. I'm working with a half length of 16 inches. I'm going to be putting my 16 inches here. This is it here. Can you see that? So I'm going to be repeating the same thing here to make sure that when I'm drawing my line is very straight. So you put it on 10 here, and then you put your half length here on 16, and then my full length, which gave me 24, I'll put it here too. Then you take your ruler and rule a straight line. Okay, have it here, a straight line. Okay. So let's do that quickly. That's it. So I'm going to be labeling them. So this is my boss point. I'm going to call it BP. This is my half length. I'm going to call it HL. And this is my full length. I'm going to call it FL. This I'm supposed to call this place my shoulder. Okay, my shoulder line. That's it. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to be doing now is to get my shoulder line. Now, my shoulder measurement here is 16. Don't forget that I said our shoulder measurement will be dividing it by 2. So 16 divided by 2 gives me 8 inches. I'm going to take my tape and place it on 8 inches. Can you see that? 8 inches. Okay? Now, the next thing I want us to get is going to be our chest line. Our chest line. How to get a chest line? You divide your bust by 6 plus 2. So, we'll be dividing our bust, 36 divided by 6, we give us 6, plus 2 inches or 1.5, that gives us, but I'm using 2 inches here, that is 8. So, before I proceed, I want to also tell you another method of getting your chest line. This is just one method, this is one method, but we have like three methods. So, this is one method of getting your bust line, because a lot of us, either one will make a dress, you cannot, you cannot raise your arm, your hand up because the armhole is too tight or the armhole is too wide. So, this is it. It's either you use your bust divided by 6 plus 2 or 1.5 or you take your measurement, you take your tape, this is our mannequin here, so you place your tape on your shoulder and then you try to get the round, that point that has your, your arm hole, that is, that is going into your arm hole, you place it there, can you see that for this my dummy, we have seven. So this is another way of getting it, but if you don't have the opportunity of doing this, you can even use eight. I use 8 and it doesn't fail me. Okay, I use 8 and it doesn't fail me. So, but now let me show you now. Okay, so after dividing my bust measurement by 6 plus 2, it gave me 8. So, I'm going to put my tape before I place the thing on 8. I'm going to take my tape, place it here. We are going to subtract. Okay, let's cut the neck first before I show you this. This is an easier way. So now I'm going to be using a neckline of 3 by 3. It's a round neck. You can use more if you like. Okay, but this is for a high neck. So you place your tape on 3 here. Then you come down this way. You place it on 3 again. Can you see what I'm doing? Okay. Make sure... I'm getting it accurately make sure always double sure if you can 
Okay, then you take your ruler this way. You rule. Can you see what I'm doing? Okay, then you take your call. This is to get our neckline. Can you see it? So this is our neck. So you see that this your curves makes it easier for you. Although I teach you a freehand method, but for this tutorial, I'm going to be using the curve. So you can really understand, you can see that you can do things with your French curve yourself. Okay? So now after getting our neck, which is three by three, we now want to get our shoulder slope. We're going to take our tape again, come down from the shoulder by one inch. Can you see what I'm doing? Then you take your ruler and link from your shoulder slope to your neckline. Using that one inch, this way, you link it like this. This is our shoulder slope. Don't forget that the human body is not straight. Our shoulder is being sloped. Yes, we don't have a straight shoulder. Your shoulder is sloped. So you're going to take your tape. From that shoulder slope, you're going to mark eight inches. This is it here. You can equally do it this way, even if you don't have to slant force. You can take your tape through from the beginning and mark nine inches. Already you know that when you subtract one inch from the shoulder to give you the slant line, which is the shoulder slope, it still gives you back your eight inch for your chest line, your arm hole. So now I'm going to rule a straight line from there. So we're going to call this our chest line. So the next thing we're going to be doing now is imputing our measurements. Okay? Now, let me call your attention to this. Some tailors or fashion designers put their bust measurement on the chest line. Why some put their bust measurements on the bust points? Whichever one you do is okay. You can equally put your bust measurement on your chest line or on your bust line. So I'll be putting mine on my bust points. I'll just show you why I said they are both okay because you see they both fall on the same thing. So bust 36 divided by 4 is 9 inches. So we're going to place our tape here on 9 inch. Can you see that? On 9 inch. And then we're going to be having adding our 2 inches allowance. Okay? Then we'll come down on our half length. That is where we're going to be putting our waist measurements. So our waist measurement we are working here is 28. So 28 divided by 4 will give us 7. Okay. Now, I will hold on about adding the allowance here because we are still going to get our dots. So after I draw the dart, I will now add my allowance, which is 2.5. So I'm going to come down here to impute my hip measurement. The 40 divided by 4 will give me 10. So this is 10. And then our 2 inches allowance. So this is 2 inches allowance here. Can you see what I just did? So this is our allowance here. Okay, so now don't forget that we need to draw our line for our ankle. I'm going to, don't forget our shoulder measurement was eight. So I'm going to be taking eight here to make sure that I get a straight line for the arm hole. So this is eight here. Don't forget we have eight here. When you put your tape back here, this is still eight. 
So I'm going to be linking the lines together. This is it. Let me check it again. Okay, this is it. Okay. So now we want to get, we want to now draw our armhole. Okay. Now you are going to get the center of your chest line to your shoulder slew. Don't forget I have eight inches here. So eight divided by two is four which is here please can you see what i did here so this is four now by right in this center we're going to be going in by half an inch half inch here can you see it? half inch here so i'm going to take my arm hook off this way Let me make sure I'm getting the points. Before you will make sure you're getting your points. Okay? So you see it. So the essence I went in by half an inch here is to make sure that after making your clothes, it relaxes by your chest line like it relaxes very well it gives you that freedom of raising up your hand it doesn't pop here sometimes if you look at some of your clothes you see that after making them the when you put them on here is puffy that's because they didn't go in by half an inch here can you see they didn't go in by half an inch here to slope it rather they took it straight which is not supposed to be so another way you can equally do that is to measure your chest line on your chest it's, it's in our video in taking accurate body measurements is there you measure your chest line okay or you go in by half an inch and then you slope your shoulder okay so the next thing i'm going to be doing now is to take my dart measurement in taking our dart measurement we are going to be using our bust pan measurement which is our nipple to nipple measurement your nipple to nipple measurements so the nipple to nipple measurement i'm working with today is eight inches and eight divided by two gives me four so i'm going to be placing my tape here on four can you see that on four this is four here so another thing you need to note is when how to get your dart measurement hmm? you're going to come down by two inches from your boss point measurement the essence of taking this that the essence of putting a dart on your top though it's not necessary some kind of tops is not necessary but in this particular one we are making we are putting a top because it enhances your clothes like it gives instead of you to press your boss it gives room for the bust to stay you know, it produces that. It gives you for your boss to point to come out instead of making your dress after which your your clothes will be pressing on your bust. So you are going to come down from your bust point measurement by two inch, okay? By two inch. But in freehand method, we just take twelve. Are you seeing that you actually fall on the twelfth? So you can just take from your shoulder, just measure from your shoulder 12 inches down to locate your where your dart is going to be starting from. And then we end our dart in 22 inches. Okay, it's a standard. Or you come up by 2 inches from your full length. 
Are you seeing that now? You come up by two inches from your full length. Can you see it? Or you take from your shoulder to 22 inches. So now don't forget I said our bust span divided by two, which is four inches. So I'm going to be marking my four inches here. Can you see what I just did? Marking my four inches here. Then I take my ruler. Now, let me show you something. To be on the safe side, you rule a straight line. I, will, I always advise my beginner students to always rule a straight line when taking their dad. It gives them... Sorry, I just went overboard. This is where we stop here. Let me just rule this way so you see what I'm saying. Because it gives you a direction and like it helps you when you want to now subtract because now we are going to take half an inch on both sides half an inch on both sides can you see half an inch on both sides so we'll take back the ruler again and link it this way make sure your hand is straight Always take your time. Don't be in a hurry. Make sure your hand is straight. Okay? And then you rule this way. Can you see that? And then you link up this way. And then you link up again. So this is our dart. Like I said, remember I told you we are coming back to this half length. You know we've not included our allowance here. So now our waist measurement, which was uh, 28, 28 divided by 4 is 7. Okay. So now you see we place our tape here on 7. This is 7 here. This is 7 here. And where we have to replace back this one that we took away from this place, okay? Now, since I'm adding two inch allowance, I will just add half, making it 2.5 instead, instead of three, okay? So this is it, 2.5, here, here we have it. Then we're going to take our ruler and then we'll link up. Okay. Now, the human body is not straight. There's no sharp edge here. Here is a curve. So we're going to smoothen it out, okay? You can equally use your hip curve here. Do you know you can use your hip curve here when taking this place? You can use your hip curve when you come down this way. Can you see? So, but I just use the ruler so that in case you have a ruler, you just know how to link up, okay? And then you smoothen it out because the human body here is not sharp. You know, it has this curve. It's not, it's not um, a sharp edge here. It has a curve. So after you're doing your ruler, after using your ruler this way, you just smoothen it out. Okay? So this is it here. But there's something I'm going to do now. I'm not going to cut this way for you because I'm also going to use this pattern to trace for the back. And in the back, we are not going to subtract half inch here. We are still going to use our normal armhole. So I will just take my armhole curve, okay, and then draft for my back. After getting my back, I will cut out my front, okay. Can you see what I just did now? Let me take it again. This line is for my 
front pattern that is for the front of the top and this other line is for the back of the top so after cutting for my back i will now come and remove my front own arm hole so we take our scissors 